Welcome back. Are you looking to test your heart health? There is a new app for that. In a new proof of concept trial, engineers at Caltech created an application that uses the camera on a smartphone to provide detailed information about your heart. Joining us right now is Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky, also known as Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, good to see you. Good to see you. So this is really interesting. The creators of this app claim it provides the same information as a 45-minute MRI scan. You well, buying it? <laughs> Actually, um, the way that they tested it is they tested it against the MRI machine because that's the most accurate test. But in reality, what they're trying to replace and make a substitution for is the echocardiogram, which is basically an ultrasound of the heart. And it takes 45 minutes. It takes an experienced technician to do the exam. It's money. It's time. And if we could have a smartphone app to replace that process, that's amazing. But this is very early on. This is a proof of concept trial with 72 patients. And while they had some promising results, it's not going to phase out echocardiograms anytime soon because it's so early on and because the echocardiogram, echocardiogram gives you so many other pieces of information. But their margin of error is plus or minus 19.1%. If you're talking about my heart, I don't want plus or minus 19% on that. So that's, I mean, I don't trust it. I just don't. That, that's very, I understand why you feel that way, but actually that's a great margin of error because an echocardiogram compared to the MRI has an error of 20%. So 19% well, is actually lower. <laughs> and we're using well. the echocardiogram because it's cheaper and much quicker than the actual MRI. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at, in general, the way that patients go and get these echocardiograms, the reason we do it is not just to get this measurement of the ejection fraction. We look for a lot of information. What the heart looks like, what the valve looks like. Is the heart expanded? Is it smaller than it should be? So this app is great for possibly a screening tool to see who should get an echocardiogram. Yeah. And it can okay. be a first step to start that process. Let me ask you about carbohydrates, because now we're learning that carbs may have a larger negative impact on heart health than fat, according to the prospective urban uh, rural EP, uh, epidemiology. This group examined the eating habits of 125,000 people in 18 countries and found carbs worse for cardiovascular, worse risk factors there. This is really interesting because carbs turn into sugar, don't they? So carbs, carbs represent a whole spectrum of foods, but they get turned into glucose, which is the form of sugar that your body can actually utilize. And there's been this huge debate of whether it's fats, is it sugars, is it carbs, what's causing the heart disease in our nation, what's causing the obesity. And there's been documentaries made about this, what the health documentary made a very strong stance, saying that carbohydrates are not responsible for diabetes, which is not totally true. Correct. Um, disagree with that statement. But what this PURE study has done, and it's a really great study because it's done on five continents, a huge po uh, population, 125,000, it showed that eating carbohydrates in high amounts percentage-wise. So 75% of your diet, 65% of your diet shows that your heart disease risk goes up. When you lower your fat intake, your chance of dying from all causes goes up. So you have to have a moderate consumption of fats and carbs. Healthy fats. Healthy fats. Well, <laughs> actually, surprisingly enough, saturated fats, which have a bad reputation for raising the bad cholesterol, which we call LDL, um, had a neutral effect on cardiac disease in this study. So that did surprise us a bit. But ultimately, what needs to happen? We need to figure out what is that balance between fats and carbs with a more definitive study. Because these studies, they use questionnaires. They ask patients, well, what do you normally eat? How much do you eat? And I can pretty much ask any one of you here, what did you eat two weeks ago? You think you're going to remember it accurately? It also goes well, accurately, yeah. I'm, <laughs> going to, I'm, on, I'm on a high protein, <laughs> low carb diet. There and by go. the way, I've done this for a number of years. My cholesterol has been very low. My heart rate, very low. By and doing I mean, high protein, health, low high carb? High protein, low carb, mm -hmm. and not be so worried about fats because our body needs fats. Um, also, and, exercise and, 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 plays into right, that. Exercise so, I mean, to a degree, and, and your cardio exercise, has always been low. low impact cardio exercise yeah. is sufficient. Yeah, my cholesterol has been always low. And it's Have you low ever had an issue with cholesterol? No. And I, and, I, and I went to a very high protein diet where I'm eating steak twice a day, what? Um, protein, um, <laughs> vegetables, and, and very low on the carbs. And, you know, well, it's working for you. There, yeah, there are healthy carbs out there. So it, stick, <laughs> stick to the healthy carbs, avoid the added sugars, uh, keep them whole grain, healthy vegetables, that kind of stuff. Dr. Mike, great stuff. Thank yep. you. We'll